Daily devotionals for March 5th. Today's scripture reading will be Hebrews 3, verses 7 through 11. Therefore, as the Holy Spirit says, Today, if you will hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion. In the day of trial in the wilderness, where your fathers tested me, tried me, and saw my works forty years, therefore I was angry with that generation, and said, They always go astray in their heart, and they have not known my ways. So I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter my rest. You know, the children of Israel, they just... Well, I don't know. I, I can't say I wasn't there, but it seemed like they griped and complained about everything. What should have been an 11 day journey took them 40 years and they just were constantly rebelling against God and against Moses and Aaron. I mean, they just were unhappy campers and they were never satisfied. So really they were in rebellion against God and it was a test to God. You know, how many times did Moses stand in the gap? God just wanted to destroy them all. And uh, Moses stood in the gap. He interceded for them and said, No, God, don't do this. If, if you do, these are your chosen people. If you destroy them, then, you know, what's that going to say about you? So thank God for Moses that he, he did. He stood in the gap and stood in place for them, but they still rebelled. They did not get to see the promised land. That whole generation didn't get to see the promised land. But, you know, we have a far better covenant, and the Lord is saying, you know, we have opportunity every day. We, we mess up probably every day. Some of us probably many times every day. But, you know, we have... We have an advocate, we repent, we turn from our way, you know, rebellion. We're constantly in that place of, you know, we can choose to be rebellious if we want. If we're not in agreement with God and walking in his ways, as we say, and, you know, they didn't walk in his ways. How long? How long? They wanted their own way. How many times do we want our way? You know, Bob messed up one time really bad, and he said after that, I had my way once. And he said, I pray, God, I don't ever want my way again. Okay, because it got him totally off course. And the same thing can happen to us. We can either seek him, seek his way, and follow him, or seek our flesh and follow it, and we'll end up over here in the ditch somewhere. Even so, we repent, go back to that place where we got off, and the Lord will put us back on track. But let's try to avoid that. If we will seek him, follow after him, seek his will, not our will. Remember, it's, I want your will, Lord. That's what Jesus said in the garden. I want your will, not mine. And we must be the same way so we can enter into that rest. Uh, and we'll talk about that another time, the rest of God, but that's where we want to be. So we are always resting in him. So do not harden your heart, follow him and trust him. Be blessed till next time.